Ireland. And uh, away they go from the 1400 metre marker. Scarlet chills along the inside, but the green silks are the year and after a little bit quicker. Cottage Garden, the blue and red is right there and going to challenge for that position. Ice Imperial's not far off the tempo. Passivity's around runners as Scarlet Chill takes a sit back. After an alert beginning is falling, it's off them, and then we drop back to Susie Wu. Futuristic Dame is towards the inside, bottled up four and a half lengths off them. Susie Wu's on the outside. Then comes Academic Gold, and as per usual, Fire Fairy. She can turn it on from the back of the field. Cottage Garden won the battle for the lead, went on a length and a quarter. Year and after is right there, and Ice Imperial at the 600 metre zone. Passivity's around them. Scarlet Chill towards the inside, going to go for a rails run. Futuristic Dame, still got four lengths to make up. Susie Wu hooks around them, and then comes Academic Gold. Cottage Garden coming to the 300. Scarlet Chill's on the inside. Passivity. Ice Imperial. Simply Russians looking to run on Futuristic Dame. Ice Imperial coming with a run and Scarlet Chills on the inside. Cottage Garden and Simply Russian between them. Futuristic Dame. Simply Russian though. The Yellow Silks goes on for victory. Ice Imperial second. Futuristic Dame third and Scarlet Chill fourth. Photo second and third. But I think we got that correct. So number two, Simply Russian goes on to win with Warren Kennedy aboard at 16.50 and 4.30 the place. That's going to be number two, Simply Russian. Second, third and fourth, I thought number six, Ice Imperial just does enough from Futuristic Dame. And as they hit the line, Ice Imperial probably just ahead of Futuristic Dame, Scarlet Chill. Then came... Cottage Garden, Academic Gold, Passivity. At the 300 metre mark, there was five, six of them, a length separating them, but simply Russian will get the bit of exchanges. Futuristic Dames on the inside, Scarlet Chill, Ice Imperial, as they come down to the winning post. Number two, simply Russian, simply too good today. Back to the studio. Number two, Simply Russian at long odds has come through to win race four. Phillies and Mayors handicap over 1,400 metres. The first leg of the first jackpot did look like a field race, and that's the way it turned out. But firstly, well done to Andile Makorba, who looks after Simply Russian on a daily basis. Well done, Andile. Congratulations. A thousand rand compliments of Hollywood bets and Gold Circle. Well done. Congratulations. Right, who's first in? Garth Puller, the winners just keep rolling in. Very nice day at uh, Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday. Surprised or not really? No way, uh, Boyke, this filly ran second, nearly caught Blusher Dawn, my filly, a short head. And then she had a second run, was a typical second run, and I believe in that, and, and I probably train that way. And then today she was a, she was a run. I mean, I could, you couldn't stick your neck out, but I said to the guy, she'll definitely be in the places. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to knock. La was actually going to ride it, and uh, Dee's. You know what happened, and Dee's wanted to pick something else. And I, I said, don't, don't judge her on the last run. I said, you know, Lapin will come and beat you. So, um, uh, not that I'm too cocky, but she, she won a nice race, a nice filly. I want to thank Michael for working with her. She's, uh, she got into a habit of not jumping, and it was a bit of a problem. And Eric and Guani and Michael worked on her, and she got her to come out. She pinged the gates today. Thanks to Warren for a good ride. Thanks to Hollywood for their sponsorship, Owen and his team. Anthony, James, all of them, thank you very much. Um, and then again to my guys back at home, Sam, Michael, uh, Wendy, and Kathy. Yeah, the, it's a team effort, and, the, and she, she came through and won a nice race. It's very nice. South Africa's champion jockey, Warren Kennedy, not a bad replacement for Lyle? No, not at all. I was so happy to get him. I mean, uh, top ride, and it's basically straightforward, to be honest, just to get out the pens. And, uh, and, I mean, he learned more about her in one ride than, than, than most guys would learn in three. I mean, she, obviously he said to me she didn't want to go. As soon as he wanted to put it between them, she didn't like it. She spat the, uh, the bit, and uh, he moved in the open, and then she, she finished. So, yeah. Well done, Garth. May the winners keep rolling. You've got a couple of runners to come. Can we expect you back here again? Graham, I never stick my neck out too far. I, I thought a nice place double would be this filly and the filly in the last. Okay, okay. well. Thank you. Well done, Garth. Thank you. 
Right, let's get South Africa's champion jockey, Warren Kennedy, into the office. We're going to be talking to him about Guru's Pride and Shastina. But firstly, this filly, talk us through the race. Yeah, look, um, the, the race went really smooth for me. She has had a tendency to get left. Mr. Puller's had Mark, and they've done a wonderful job with her. She pinned the gates beautifully today. And um, I would have been content to, to follow Lau through. He had also a bit of pace, uh, but she broke so well. I wasn't going to give that, that, that three-quarter of a length advantage that I got in from her getting out the gates that well. And I just sat next to Lyle, and the pace was nice and smooth throughout. Uh, turn the straight, she, she let down really nicely, and she hit the line running. So it was a really nice win from her. You know, I, I've only ridden her this time, and I've learned something, which I'll keep in my back pocket. I've let Bonja and Mr. Puller know what I've learned, but uh, it's in my back pocket for when I ride her again. But um, it's nice to have Bonja, nice to have a win for Hollywood Bets. Um, my first meeting back from a little bit of a break. Had a bit of a holiday with the family, and it was wonderful. So I'm back and fresh, and happy to be in the winner's box for his meeting back. Okay, let's chat about Guru's pride. Why the blinkers? There's the man there, Gavin. You know, he, this horse, um, he, he just sometimes doesn't travel in a race and he gives up way too much start and finishes like a train. You've seen in some of his starts, he, he flies. You know, I think it's just to, to get him to focus a little bit more. Um, I don't think they're off full cups. I think they're, they're, they're quarter cups. They're just for that little bit of concentration so you can be in a position without any hassle and, you know, gain that extra two, three links through the running of the race then, then giving it up rather you know i think that's the only reason for the blinkers um and then we've got shastina uh, she, you know she she didn't win a, a great man but she won it well enough to to back up with another win today all right well hopefully with a bit of luck we'll see you again here in the winners enclosure a little bit later on well done congratulations thanks, thanks very much as well done to to Bonge and to hollywood bet and to have james here as well and it's nice to have the guys on course and leading the winner and to ride a winner for mr puller you know he is a champion in his own right so very happy to ride a win for him and obviously to win for my sponsors. Thank you very much. Well done, Warren. And I think the last time that I was standing in a winner's enclosure and interviewing Anthony Del Pesce, he probably would have been wearing a set of silks rather than the Hollywood Bets shirt. New role, well publicized already, but lovely to be leading in winner after winner after winner. I read somewhere there's a competition out there for the winning trainer, jockey that rides Hollywood Bets' 200th winner. I thought it was on 195. Is this number 196? Are we getting closer to that 200th winner? Yeah, we're on 196, and obviously Hollywood has said we, whichever jockey rides a uh, 200th winner gets 10,000 rand. The trainer gets 10,000 rand. The group gets 2,000 rand. Yeah, so it's an incentive for uh, whichever jockey ends up landing a 200th winner. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, I hope I can do my job as well as I rode in the race. I see the last time you interviewed me, I was in silk. So let's hope I can do my job as well as. Uh, as a, as a jockey. Well, with that incentive in place, I think we're going to be seeing lots of Hollywood Bet Syndicate runners, particularly over the next couple of meetings. Yeah, you're right. Uh, we, we got 11 runners before the end of the month, uh, with these two today, before the end of the month. So let's, let's hope we can get it before the new year anyway. But very well done to the Hollywood Syndicate and uh, to Hamel and Arda. Thank you very much for bringing Love Yours. Anthony, well done to you and to your team and to James. And to everybody connected with Hollywood Bet Syndicate, they're great supporters of horse racing. Lovely to see their colours in the winners' enclosure again. Full result, 2671. A little bit of a turn up for the books.